are you? <laughs> Guess what? I bought another thread up box. Yes, yes, I did it again. <laughs> Okay, so this is only my second thread up box, but my first one was pretty good. So I thought that I would give it another try and see. I hope this is as good as the first one was, but I don't know, we'll see. Um, here it is, and I haven't opened it yet. It's been on my kitchen table since yesterday. <laughs> my husband came home and he said, are you gonna open up that box? And I was like, no, I said, I gotta do a video about it well, why don't you just open it up and look at everything and then do the video? I was like, no, I'm going to do the unboxing. He said, oh, come on, please. <laughs> he wanted me to open it so he could see what was in it. <laughs> so anyway, let's go ahead and dive into this box. Okay, got my handy dandy scissors here. And guys, I'm going to try to do better this time than I did on the last one. I know that there was couple people that commented that said they couldn't hardly see so I'm gonna try to show these a little bit better and I'm gonna try to go quick so it doesn't last forever okie doke here we go and I'm sure as you all if you all watch thread up unboxings I sure you've seen all the whole thing it's wrapped in tissue paper they send you a little manifest and all that um, Well, the recent ones that I have watched, um, people got their manifest and then they got some little stickers for reselling. I didn't get that. Huh. Okay. Okie doke. Let me put this on the ground. First bag. Well, this is nice. It is a um, it is a snakeskin bag, just like that. Um, virtually no no wear on the outside part. Inside's very nice and clean. The inside's really nice and clean what it looks like on the inside. I can see that. And the Coach Creed right there. Um, this is nice. This is a nice, um, a nice shoulder bag. Yeah, that's cool. I'm happy with that. It's got your uh, little buckle on the front there. And it's got Coach written right there. Got your hang tag. Uh, I don't see any wear on the handles, none whatsoever. If this purse has been carried, it has not been carried much. Check the inside again. Let me look in the center zipper pocket here. Oh, that's, that's, that's really, really nice. I'm happy with that. That should do good uh, in my antique booth. So that's what it looks like. There we go, happy with that. And I'm sure as you all know, um, may or may not know, the cost of this box was $90 and that included shipping, so. Okay, next up, ooh, I like this. This is nice, it's just a little crossbody, little monogram crossbody. Oh wow, that's very nice. Inside's clean. Little bag thing there. Y'all probably can't see that, but the inside's nice and clean. Uh, this has a Coach Creed on the inside. Right there. The corners, there's a little bit of wear on the corners, but it's not bad, not terrible. 
just you know normal normal wear um, yeah this looks good this looks really nice I like this I got another one similar to this in my other box um, if you all have not seen that I will link it up here um, but it was it had the trim on it was green Let's see if I can show this a little bit better so yeah, I'm very, very happy with that. Good job so far, thread up. <laughs> very nice. The strap looks good. The strap is impeccably clean. The other uh, one that I got, the strap was a little bit dirty, but this is this is nice. I like this. Very good. Okay. This is a little suede bag, and this one does not have the hang tag. It's just kind of a burgundy, kind of a mini bag. Um, no wear, hardly at all, not dirty. The inside is nice, very nice and clean on the inside. It does have a creed on this one as well. There. Um... I guess this could be used as either a small mini bag or uh, you can unhook this, I guess, and you could maybe carry it as a wristlet, a big wristlet. So yeah, that's cute. I like that. It's kind of out of season because I think the suede, well, not really out of season, but I would think something like this might do better in the fall as it gets closer to Christmas, but still it's cute. I'm happy with it. So far, so good, thread up, yay. <laughs> okay, and then I have got a wristlet, small wristlet, just like that. Um, it's got a little bit of wear, but it's not terrible. Uh, not terrible. It's a little place right there, and then a little place right there. Uh, inside of that's nice and clean. It's just plain brown. Um, so yeah, that's cute. That's cute. I like that. Very cute. Okay, I have one more. And this one looks nice. I have one like this. Um, not like it, but similar. Uh, I got in my last box that was all patent leather. That actually is still in my antique booth and has not sold. I thought that would have sold through Christmas, but it didn't. I'm thinking about taking it out of my antique booth and maybe putting it on Poshmark uh, because it's really nice. Uh, this one here. This is nice too. Um, this Does this have the breakaway? Yep, this has a breakaway zipper. A lot of people like that, uh, the breakaway zipper. And I, I told, talked about that in my last video. It's where the zipper comes off. So you can open it wide like a tote. Uh, but this one just looks like, it's just the black monogram like that. And there's what the back looks like. Nice big pocket on the back, perfect for your cell phone. Um, and then it's got pockets on the side. Um, wear, let's see here. There's a little bit of wear on the corners, but it's not terrible. Kind of what the wear looks like. Not bad at all. Really, really good. Like, I'm happy with this. Yeah, it's got the patent leather handles. And nice and clean on that side. It's got your coach uh, on the front there. A patent leather hang tag. And so, yeah, that's, that's good. That's good. Very nice. Good job, thread up. <laughs> From my second box, both of them have been good. I will consider ordering another one. Um, we'll see how these do first. I might not order one right away. Um, but if you all remember the last thread up box that I did, I got that great big leather, black leather messenger bag. That sold in my antique booth around Christmas time. And it sold, I believe I sold that for like 58 dollars so that wasn't too bad none of the other ones that I got in that box have sold yet but like I said the one that I have in my antique booth right now that's all patent leather I'm thinking about taking that out and putting that on Poshmark 
and then a couple of the other crossbodies I had put in my antique booth and they have not sold. But I feel like that in the summer, the crossbodies will sell better because a lot of people are active in the summer, going out doing stuff, going to festivals, going to the beach, going on vacation, and they don't want a big, chunky, heavy purse. They want something that they can, you know, rip and run and do their, you know, activities when they're, you know, on vacation or going to, you know, parties or festivals or stuff like that. So I feel like those will sell in uh, this coming up summer. So anyway, guys, that's it. <laughs> that's it. I got a total of one, two, three, four. I got four bags and the wristlet. Well, the one of the, one of them could, I guess, could be considered a wristlet, a big wristlet. Um, so yeah, not too bad. I'm I'm happy with that. I don't know that I'll make a ton of profit. Um, I might make a little bit compared to what I paid for it. So, I mean, if you think about it, $90 divided by five is what? My math is uh, 20, 40, 60, uh, 20, less than $20. So, what, $18 a bag? So, I'll make a little bit, but it won't be a ton of profit. But it's fun. I love opening these uh, Thread Up unboxings. And so far, I've had a good experience. I know a lot of people that have not. And I hate that for those people. Um, but so far, it's been good for me. So, um, what I will do also, if you all are not familiar with ThreadUp, is I will link uh, their website down below in the description box. So, you can go and look. They sell all kinds of stuff. They sell um, handbags. They sell clothing, jewelry. They sell goodie boxes. All kinds of different things. So, that way you all can go and have fun too. So, that is it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you as a subscriber. And be sure, if you do subscribe, to hit the little bell so that way whenever I make a new video, you will get notified. So I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.